नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू द चैनल टुडे आर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज यू आर पेरिफरल विथ एन आर एफ डोंगर प्रीवियसली इन द वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू सेट अप एन आर एफ कनेक्ट एस टी के विथ योर वी एस को फॉर डेवलपमेंट विथ योर डोंगर इन दिस वीडियो विल बी डिस्कसिंग स्पेसिफिकली द यू आर पार्ट फॉर दिस डोंगर सो एन आर एफ कनेक्ट एस डी के यूज इज सेफायर आर्टोस इन द बैक एंड to perform all its task and uart in the fire has three different modes first is polling api second is asynchronous api third is interrupt driven api so we will be covering one basic example for all of these three types let's now go to create a simple application hover on to the nrf connect icon in your vs code click on create new application copy sample and type echo underscore bot click on that particular example and now you can choose whatever name you want i'll be just keeping it the way it is and click enter your application is created all right so you have the code with you i will be ma- making few changes to this code but before we make some change you need to understand that this particular code uses interrupt based rx method and a polling based tx method now let's create a build configuration for this code you have to select nrf2 nrf52840 dongle underscore nrf52840 as our board and leave all other options as default scroll to the bottom click on build configuration and wait until the setup is ready a few moments later all right so the setup is ready now let's move on back to the code so in the code we have to add uart0 peripheral node to the uart structure that we have here after that we need to create a runtime configuration for our uart parameters which is baud rate parity etc so we'll be going with 115200 baud rate 8 bit data rate no parity and no flow control for now for the tx or transmitting part we'll be using print underscore uart function so this function uses the polling method uart pull out wherein character by character is taken and then displayed or transmitted to the pc in the receive inter part will we have a serial cv callback wherein we are using uart fifo read function and it reads character by character and copies it to a buffer so that is the crux of this callback function okay so the code is pretty much ready here moving down to the main loop we'll be adding uart underscore configure function for the configuration to take place so now let's see the project configuration so we have two lines in this next we'll be building this code once the build is complete we'll be uploading this code to our dongle Okay before we program our device let us open device tree file and have a look at the pin art that are assigned for uart0 peripheral we can have a look that 0.20 and 0.24 are the pins next we will be opening an rf connect for desktop app and click on program we need to hit the reset button on the dongle board to enter bootloader mode after that in the upper left corner we can select the device add the file the file.hex and click on write to upload the program finally make sure to connect your dongle with your usb ttl converter according to the connection diagram once the code is finally uploaded let's open teratom so in teratom we have to first do some setup wherein we'll be taking all the uart parameters that we have configured in nrf like the baud rate should be 115200 no parity no flow control etc etc once this is done next we'll go on terminal setup that is receive and transmit should have cr plus lf line endings and we'll also check mark local echo once all of this done let's type in a simple message hit enter and wait for the reply from our nrf tone okay so whatever little bit of 
knowledge we have gained let's create a simple example out of that so this example would be something like we'll be blinking an led on and off after a specific delay and we'll be printing out a uart message for that particular instance like led high and led low so we'll be using print underscore uart function for that uart transition transmission of data and all of this gpio functions and setup and configuration stuff is already available in blinky sample you can take a look and copy the code from there next we'll just build it and upload it to the dongle and open teratum and see the published messages It's time to discuss async APIs. So first of all, open your project configuration file and add a few lines of code. It's very crucial for the setup. Next, you have to understand that we have to create a callback similar to interrupt one. In this, our callback is called async underscore callback. Callback is nothing but an ISR routine. We'll be using URTX function for transmitting bytes. And also you have to enable RX underscore enable if you want to receive bytes as well. So next, in the async callback, you have certain events that take place, ax done, rx ready, tx aborted, etc, etc. So whenever such, in, such event occur, async callback would be triggered. So our example is like we'll be transmitting a certain buffer. So once that buffer is completely transmitted, we, the event tx done would be triggered. So we'll be just enabling the GPIO LED pin to turn on high once the transmission is completed. And after a specific delay, we will again turn off that LED. Again, the transmission will take place. Again, it will be turned on and it will keep on doing it. Let's now build the program and finally upload it. Open Teratum again and observe the terminal. So that would be it for now. Do not forget to like and share this video. Subscribe the channel to see such kind of videos in the future. Thank you.